Welcome back everyone. Just a quick update for everybody that might be wondering. Uh, the last video that I um, um, just put up on YouTube, uh, we were looking at the uh, the Ranger amplifier here. Um, sad to say, I ran into a lot of trouble with this amplifier. I'm 95% sure that what happened is that the, the, uh, the, FETs, uh, the MOSFETs here I haven't taped up because uh, there's one I had on soldered, and there's some uh, there's a diode and a resistor also uh, wrapped up in here, so I don't lose it. And I got the wiring wrapped up. But um, as you know, I was going to replace the MOSFETs. However, I had to abandon that idea because I managed to get one of the MOSFETs off of the circuit board, but I lifted one of the traces. My uh, my soldering iron and my soldering station didn't seem like it had enough heat. Um, I turned the heat up. I had it on uh, 350 Celsius, I believe it was. I um, can't exactly remember. Something like that. 300, 320 I started. And, and I went up to um, 350, um, 375, I think, I don't know. Anyway, it seemed to me like the solder on this uh, on the on the MOSFETs uh, were like more like uh, I don't know silver solder or something that needed to be needed what much more heat than what my soldering iron was really capable of. So I got one of the MOSFETs removed. That's the one that had the diode and um, resistor soldered to it, which I believe is this one right here. No, it was this one here. I think yeah, this looks this one here. Anyway, and um, and did a closer inspection, of course, with my, uh, you know, when, uh, with my uh, magnifiers here, and um, I also used this, this uh, really telescopic model. Uh, it's a really um, get really close, and I noticed I may have done some damage to one of the traces of the first MOSFET that I removed. And so I stopped, and I assessed the situation, and then I thought, you know, if I continue on, I'm only going to do more damage. So it's a bit beyond my scope of work because of the heat issue and because I am um, very, very wary about damaging the board that would be beyond repair. So with that being said, uh, the option now is to... Uh, get this board sent to a proper technician that has the proper skills and equipment to to replace the MOSFETs. Once that's done um, I can put them, you know, no problem putting the uh, the heat transfer to the paste on that and the board and all that and I got all the parts for that put away mounted onto the heat sink and plug it back in and do a biasing of the amplifier and away it goes and then I think once I get this going I don't believe I'm going to be turning this amp on anymore I'm just going to be using stock power this is what I've been doing with the uh, with this Ranger and I'm getting still getting flowered reports it's possible quite possible that the amplifier does help um, you know with uh, DX and, and local but I don't see much of a difference anyway Hoping to be able to uh, get this amp um, sent out to the proper to a proper technician. I had one person already um, make comment uh, already uh, that he would um, certainly have a look at it, but uh, I haven't heard back. So I'm not going to hold anybody's feet to the fire about that because uh, you know it's uh, it's a piece of work, and not everybody wants to be doing that. Anyway, that's where I am now. The radio is in operating condition, so I'm not in a desperate situation, and I do have other radios uh, that I am able to put online if I need uh, to use another radio. So uh, I just would be sad to see this radio sitting as it is without its full capability. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, stay tuned if uh, anything transpires with regard to this radio or uh, the amplifier. I'll let you know. And in the meantime, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to 2022. Uh, hopefully it's a prosperous new year for all and I, I certainly hope it's a much better year than 2021 was. 
So I look forward to some more videos and uh, have a great evening and God bless you all.